Hi everybody, Tim Yemmings here and today I want to show you very quickly an advanced technique to creating the bleach bypass look. Alright, let's start it. The first thing you should always do is to correct your image in color and exposure. That's the absolute very basics, you guys and girls. Please keep this always in mind. I think I will make a tutorial about color correction soon and I think I will do it for a very difficult shot. But now let's see how you can get an advanced bleach bypass look. It's really easy. Just create a serial node after your corrections, then create a layer node by hitting Option and L on Mac and Alt and L on Windows. On the upper layer node, which is the bottom node in comparison with a layer-based software like Photoshop, for example, go to your RGB mixer panel and set the node to monochrome. Now right-click on the layer mixer node and choose the composite mode color. Usually on this step you would choose soft light, but not today, just make the same step. You will see it in a minute. Okay, if you now turn your layer nodes on and off, almost nothing has changed. What we're gonna do now is to change the influence of the colors on the image and that can be done always in a monochrome image, because in a monochrome image the R, G and B values affect only the luminosity of an image for the colors R, G and B. Let me show you. If I lower my blue in my RGB mixer, the yellowish parts getting more brighter, yes? Because I introduce more blue into the image. But there's no blue, instead there's a lot of yellow and yellow is the opposite color of blue. That's why blue affects also yellow. Now I lower my red channel to get much deeper reds to decrease my luminosity of the red channel. This looks good so far. Now add another serial node after the layer mixer and add a layer node. Disconnect the input from this layer node from the layer mixer before and connect this little guy here to the second layer node of the first layer stack. Now on the second layer node, Sorry, on the second layer mixer node, choose the composite mode overlay or hard light. I prefer overlay, but you can do it in soft light too. This depends on your footage. And we are done. Maybe you will ask, why the hell is Tim doing such complicated things? And yes, you can get a bleach bypass look much easier, but what you have now with this technique is the possibility to change your luminosity and the saturation in this two little guys here. This node makes your luminosity and this one is for saturation. For example, if I now decrease the color boost in this node, I will get a very cool bleached image. You want it more old school color style? Okay, just pump your color boost to the other direction. I mean, look at this. This is more than a simple bleach bypass look. And in this little guy here, you can control your luminosity. If I change the green value, for example, to the limit, look what happens to my yellow in this image. With this technique, you have a much more controllable and smarter bleach bypass technique than with the common techniques. And now we are done. I hope I could show you something new and it helps you to improve your color grading skills. And if you want to see more content like this, please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell. Thanks for watching and listening. You all a great time. Bye.